it actually gives a lot of ideas, each of which you know, would need to be explored further. But if you're just starting out and you're not sure how to approach this topic more critically, well, this gives you plenty to work on. If you're with. struggling with the literature review, either as a chapter of your PhD thesis or if you're writing a literature review paper, a systematic review, then in this video, I want to show you how exactly you can utilize the power of AI, more specifically of ChatGPT, to really help yourself to write a much better literature review, be more critical, organize it better, and also to seriously cut down the time that it takes you to read the text, um, organize the literature review and to write it. So with that said, let's dive right in. Now, before we talk about, you know, the, the, how I specifically use ChatGPT to write a really good literature review, I think it's also really important to point out how to use it ethically and what you should not be doing with ChatGPT. So, you know, it's really important that you don't use ChatGPT to write entire text for you or entire paragraphs because now anti-plagiarism softwares they, they can detect that something has been written by AI. And to be honest, if you just, you know, take the whole text that ChatGPT gives you and you use it as your own, that's plagiarism, right? So that's something that you shouldn't be doing. Another thing to remember about ChatGPT is that it's limited um, in the information that it's got to 2021, right? So you, you're not going to find the most recent stuff. So that's something to really bear in mind as well, because, you know, things might have changed slightly um, it's changed dramatically, but they might, they might be some new research insights that ChatGPT isn't. Final thing is, but with that said, you know, I think ChatGPT is a fantastic tool that can really help you to speed up the whole literature review process from like finding the ideas to finding the right text, reading them, um, organizing them, and, and finally producing the literature review. And that's what I want to show you step by step um, how to do that right now. And if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers regularly publish papers in top journals. So the first thing that you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to provide an outline for the literature review. And we can do on the on the following topic. Right? And this can be based on the, you know, the let's say the title of your thesis or paper based on the um, the aim or based on just like the broad overall topic, right? Um, now, what ChatGPT did here is probably more extensive. It would be much more appropriate for a literature review chapter in a PhD thesis, for example, right? But this is this is based on the topic of a, of a research paper that I'm currently actually working on, responding to reviewers' comments. So we can very quickly evaluate whether this is any good um, or not. If this was a literature review chapter and the introduction makes a lot of sense, um, we would then define the key concepts. So that's, that's very typical in a literature review chapter. You could provide some historical overview depending on your overall purpose. That would fit very, very well. Yeah. So just looking at it, it looks, it looks very solid and very, very logical. Now this would be probably much more appropriate for a literature review chapter for a whole PhD thesis because there's a lot to unpack here. It definitely wouldn't work that well for a paper. And what we can do as well is we can ask ChatGPT to shorten it so that it fits a research paper. So I asked um, ChatGPT now to shorten it so that it's approximately 1000 words. It still has two, three, four, six, seven sections without the introduction and conclusion. It has five sections. So it's still fairly long for a literature review, but it definitely gives us something more condensed that we can work with for a paper. And it definitely provides, you know, a good flow as well, sort of from general to specific, and it includes some really important elements in here. The next thing that we can ask ChatGPT to do is to provide references on specific topics. So I asked ChatGPT to provide five references for the above outline. And unfortunately, what happens a lot of the times with ChatGPT is that it provides completely made up references. So even though, you know, it seems there is a link to the article in here, when you actually go to this link, it links to a completely different article or it doesn't link to anything at all, meaning there is an error on the page. And also when you look up the titles, these titles don't actually exist. These papers don't exist. 
And this is, you know, this is an, a big limitation of chat GPT. It might not be the same in all fields. And I've also seen chat GPT provide some accurate references. So it's not like it always provides the wrong references, but a lot of the times the references might not be correct. So you want to be very careful with how you use this. Now I tried again um, with a different prompt. So provide five key research papers on the topic of native speakerism, which is a topic I, I research just to see what Chan GPT would do here. The, the interesting thing is that this publication with this title actually exists, but it wasn't written by these authors and it wasn't published in this year and it wasn't published in this journal and this link is incorrect. However, the title does exist and I was actually the co-author of this study, funnily enough. In here, the, the publication exists, but again, it wasn't written by that person and the link to the article is wrong. And ChatGPT tends to make these mistakes. I can see them in practically every reference that ChatGPT provides here. Bearing those limitations in mind, I mean, it can give you a starting point, you know, where you can then try to uh, put this title into the search engine to actually get the actual paper but it is very, very limited when it comes to providing the references, at least on this particular topic. It might be slightly different with the topics that you are researching. Another thing that you can, you can do is to get a summary of the latest research trends on a specific topic, because obviously if you're doing a literature review on a particular topic, you will need to summarize what has happened recently, what are the trends, and then you know explore them in the rest of the literature. And let's see what ChanGPT gives us here. So I think this gives you, you know, even better than the outline, this actually gives you, you know, a really good sort of cross section of what has been happening recently on a specific topic. And I think this can be very helpful if you're just starting out, you're exploring the literature and you want to look at the different topics. So that would be another way in which you can use ChatGPT. You would like to get help, not from AI, from a real human being like myself. Yes, I'm real then book a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team, the real human beings as well, not AI, and we'll go over your biggest challenges, your goals, and see how best we can help you to um, write papers, publish them in top journals. And the link to that free consultation is right below this video. So now, you know, from, from this, what you can also do is you can take one of the, one of the topics or subtopics that ChatGPT has given you and ask ChatGPT what research has been conducted on it. Now, another thing that you can, you can use ChatGPT for in your literature review is to ask for definitions, right? Um, so, you know, in, in here we've got native speakerism, so we can ask ChatGPT what is the most widely accepted definition of and this is actually very good um, it's not only conceptually accurate with an accurate reference but it's also pretty well structured in terms of like the flow the coherence and everything Right? So that's another thing that you can use ChatGPT for providing you definitions of key concepts for your literature review. Now you can also ask ChatGPT about how a particular definition has evolved over time, because you might want to present a historical overview of a specific concept. Right? So we can ask ChatGPT something like this. How has the definition of X changed in the last 5, 10, 20 years, whatever you're looking at? And just looking at it, this is, this is again, pretty good and pretty, pretty accurate, right? Um, now, it is pretty vague and with the previous answers as well, some, some of it is pretty vague and you, you know, in your literature review, you might want to be a little bit more specific. So for example, you can ask ChatGPT to provide you an example of something, you know, in here, ChatGPT overall talked about the early definitions and what they prioritized and what what not. So we can ask ChatGPT to provide. In here, you know, I went for a definition again, but you could ask ChatGPT to provide an example of whatever it has produced before, just to get more specific, um, precise, and so that you can develop your literature review. ChatGPT here did a pretty good job of providing a definition, an early definition of that concept. 
So we can use ChatGPT now for giving you specific examples of different things or different studies on a particular topic. Of course, in your literature review, you also want to be critical. So we can ask ChatGPT to do that. For example, we can just stay within the same field and since we already have a definition we can ask chan gpt what are the main criticisms of of this particular concept i think that's that's probably enough and it actually gives a lot of ideas each of which you know, would need to be explored further. But if you're just starting out and you're not sure how to approach this topic more critically, well, this gives you plenty to work on. And then again, you can ask ChatGPT for specific examples of these specific topics um, to develop these ideas further, right? Or ask ChatGPT to provide you a short outline of something or produce um, a paragraph, which perhaps brings me to the next idea. Uh, because you can ask ChatGPT to, for example, produce a paragraph on something. We previously produced an outline of a literature review. Well, let's ask ChatGPT to produce a paragraph. So we'll just take one of the topics in here and ask ChatGPT to write a paragraph. And this is certainly a very good start that gives you something concrete to work on. Now, an important note, please do not just copy and paste it and put it in your paper or put it in your thesis because you know these days plagiarism detection softwares they they're, they're very smart and they'll detect that this was written by chan gpt but if you're stuck with your literature review and you know words aren't flowing well this gives you a great starting point that you can use you can also ask chan gpt to do of course is to make a paragraph more concise so if you know that one of your problems um, with your literature review is that you're, you ramble too much, you're too wordy and you need to be more concise. We well, can take a paragraph from your literature review and ask ChanGPT to make it more concise. So let's see how this is done. Now this is a little bit extreme, right? Um, you don't want a whole paragraph like this to be cut into three sentences. That's a bit extreme, especially that it then loses valuable information so you could make the prompt more specific um, so you could make it more concise by a specific number of words that can help as well we can also ask chat gpt to make paragraphs or text more coherent and we can be specific and we can tell chat gpt to for example add um, linking words so we can see here that chat gpt added words consequently however consequently so if you know that your problem is with linking then you can use chat gpt to to do that and to to suggest a more coherent paragraph for you if you know coherence is a big problem for you if you've enjoyed this video but you would like to get help not from ai from a real human being like myself yes i'm real then book a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team, the real human beings as well, not AI, and we'll go over your biggest challenges, your goals, and see how best we can help you to um, write papers, publish them in top journals. And the link to that free consultation is right below this video.